What is up, everybody? It is March 10th, my birthday, 2023. How are you guys doing? Um, we are going to be doing a video riding in a snowplow today and seeing how this whole thing works. And uh, just this is going to be awesome. So I'm super excited about it. It's going to be pulling up in just a moment to pick me up in the plow. We're going to go do a couple properties. It's a big part of our winter experience here, and I've never done that. And I thought you guys might want to see how it's done. So let's do this. Yeah, boy. If you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. Take care. All right, here comes the plow. I think this is for us. I think this is our taxi. I think it's our taxi, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. It might not be. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Good. How you doing, bro? Good. Guys, that's Miles. We're not gonna hold him up right now because we gotta get on the road, but uh, yeah, so how do I hop on? Uh, on this side. Okay, okay, coming over. All right, guys, I hope I'm not being too annoying for him. What a cool dude. Look at this monster. Yes, sir. Oh, I can say I'm on the cup holder right here. Okay. There's, uh... Seats, it's a little oh, dude, this is this is first class, bro. This is first class. How you doing, man? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for the invite. Oh, no problem. Super stoked, man. You're okay with the camera, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and show the world how awesome you guys are. Right. <laughs> wow, guys, can't believe I'm in this tractor. Too much of a burden on you today. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is a this is a pleasure. This is an absolute pleasure. You are the real men of Big Bear, by far. Yeah, the, uh, the chains beat against the fender, so it might be a little loud. Oh, no worries, no worries, no worries. How long have you been doing this, Miles? Uh, my dad showed me how to drive a tractor when I was like five. Uh, I started working doing snow removal like four years ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, guys, I was telling you guys, they do 364 properties in about two days. A team of three guys in two days. It's ridiculous. But they keep our town going. They keep our people able to go out and uh, work and survive. Oh yeah. So how many houses you got today? Uh, two or three, I think. Two or three houses today? Yeah, That's cool, man. But what we're doing here right now is pretty, pretty gnarly driveway. Really? <laughs> They're taking me on the crazy driveway, you guys. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. I'm nervous. I'll tell, I'll, I'll be honest. I won't lie, dude. Because. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear that? He said he'll try not to flip it over. <laughs> oh, awesome. Have you ever flipped one over? No, no. Okay, so you're joking. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I was going to turn off the camera and put a mannequin in here. <laughs> So yeah, guys, we're on Moon Ridge Road. I believe we're headed up to Upper Moon Ridge. Is that right? Upper Moon Ridge or? Lower. Lower Moon. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So not too much further then, guys. This is great. <laughs> this is great, man. Don't forget, I got lunch for you afterwards. Whatever you want, man. All right? Anything you want. You're welcome. Definitely my honor. 
If you guys need me to put gas in here, whatever, like, I'm here, okay? back here for when you turn the seat backwards. Every kid's dream, you guys. Every kid's dream. We got about a quarter mile up the road and we're still on Moon Ridge Road. This is awesome, you guys. This is awesome. I've talked about this on my channel for a long time about how I, if I could get any other job up here, it would be a snowplow driver because then I could do my channel and be the first one on the snow and just, oh man, it'd be so beautiful. Yeah. That's the golf course to the right, right there, you guys. Yeah, once again, this, this gentleman's name is Miles, you guys, and he and his partner are literally the nicest people I've ever met in Big Bear. Very hardworking people, and his partner should have punched me in the face for getting him stuck, but he didn't. <laughs> and then they pulled me out still.
Guys, he's so good and he's so quick at what he does. He's so efficient. Guy is badass, you guys. So, do you just find the space to put that pile in? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take it to the next house. Okay. You're not really supposed to do that, but I mean, this storm was so bad, there's really nowhere to put the snow. Sure, sure. I know you guys had your work cut out for you up here, but okay. did, did you or any of your team get a chance to go down to Crest Line? Uh, no. no. Not at all, huh? No. I saw, I saw Dave Sparks was there. He brought down a bunch of equipment from Utah. From Utah? Yeah. I heard something about that, yeah. That's pretty awesome. The humanity during this storm it really, really impressed me, especially with you guys and uh, putting up with me and stuff too. Like, it was just, th thank you guys again. originally thought we might get a quarter inch out of this whole thing really? and then next week the atmospheric river is supposed to stay just to the north of us uh -huh. so we might not get much out of that either but it's that time of the year where the sun's angle is really going to have a serious effect on the snow here so I'm, yeah. this is the first year of the eight years that i've been here where i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to summertime yeah. <laughs> cold in here man that's that's nice it feels nice in here yeah i mean even with the open window in the back i can't even notice pretty good i didn't even notice yeah holy cow guys it's really warm in here it's, it's really nice in here a nice work environment and once again it seems like a really fun job to do <laughs> all right uh, so that house which house that one that one right there yeah. oh that looks like fun Hang on to your hats and glasses, people. Oh, it's just too bad. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend like you guys that I'm uh, I'm not scared at all, but I don't know, I'm, I'm a little haired. But I know I'm in good hands. Look at this driveway. Looks like it's been melting the bottom of where it is. Does that cause an icy mess for you? Uh, sometimes. When it's slushy like this, it's
<laughs> Guys, this is steeper than it feels or it looks, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the precision. to have a spotter come stop traffic because cars are just too crazy driving up here on the weekends. That's not you guys though. I know that's not you guys. bug him while he's doing this guys. Oh dude, you're the man. Thank you. Look at that guys. That's the clearest window I've ever seen. Guys, this is really steep. Guys, just so you guys know, my driveway regularly would be approximately like $800 to $1,000 with all this snow, right? These guys do, as I said, 364 driveways in two days. Nice little living, wouldn't you say? driveway that you couldn't do obviously uh, yeah yeah there, there's a few of them pushing all these buttons over here supercharger mode now <laughs> oh yeah getting gangster now that's really smart so he's using the boom here, you guys, as a counterbalance so we don't slide off, off the cliff. Pretty awesome stuff. If I'm in your way, the camera's not important. You just tell me. Okay. Okay. I'm scared to look back, you guys. Guys, 
guys, look at this focus. He really has to. This is this is dangerous. Guests are actually coming up for this place? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, a good portion of the houses are going to be closed. Okay. I praise you guys big time on, on, on our channel, big time. Like, big time. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You guys keep our town running, man. Without you guys, this town's paralyzed. Yeah, we are having to get diesel and five gallon cans. All the gas stations were running out of diesel. So we had to, we had to get a bunch of extra fuel to keep running. Hear that guys? Because our gas stations kept on running out of gas, they had to get a bunch of five gallon cans just to fill up with diesel just so they had gas for these situations. Not only are they the most prepared people in town, but uh, they just kick ass and take names. This is great. And we're going up backwards like this. This is awesome. You're really good at this, Miles. It's easier for you doing it going down like this, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that way you don't have to push all the slushy snow up no. Rudder, kind of? Yeah, that way if, if you lift your front bucket off the ground, you can steer with your brakes. So he's using a system right now where he's steering with, with his brakes. He has brakes for either side of this thing. Right down here, there's two giant brake pedals. Guys, this is very, very, very technical. This is not easy. And, and what's a machine like this cost? Um, this is a rental machine. Uh, they, I think they pay like four thousand dollars a month for it. Uh, to buy one, it's anywhere between a hundred and hundred and fifty. Wow. Okay. So I grew up in Newport Beach, Miles, and my next door neighbor, who's my best or was was my best friend for thirty five years, his dad owned and started United Rentals. Really? Yeah, That's dude. Crazy. Yeah, dude. How crazy is that? Like everywhere I go, everywhere I have ever seen, there's United Rentals trucks everywhere. Yeah, they have so much equipment. Oh, dude, it's 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 crazy. And my friend's dad's got so much money. Dude. Like, dude, it's ridiculous, bro. But he worked hard, man. He worked hard and uh, took risks, and 
Yeah, United Rentals is crazy. when we're done. Uh, your phone, I don't, I don't want to take away your focus, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Guys, this is awesome. I can't believe I'm in a snow plow right now. This is so badass. It's a tractor converted to a plow. People wait for us, you guys. So we're gonna take one last pass, he said. Look at that, you guys. Look at how quick he, with as dangerous as this is, look at how quick he did this. These guys need to be super efficient. They need to be super efficient. Because unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize what it takes to do this, and they wanna get out of their houses. Patience is not a virtue up here. When I got them stuck, I told them I'll stay until they're, they're totally done. I didn't want to leave because I got them stuck. Any residual slush will melt off by the end of the day. Sure. Nice. Sweet, guys. And he said any of that mild mild residual slush will melt off by the end of the day. Have you ever hit a fire hydrant? No. No, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's not fun when those get broken off. Oh, I bet, I bet. I'm sure the city charges you guys a pretty penny for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. This is crazy. Close this window. Yeah, please. Absolutely. Thank you for doing that. Flood on the way down. All right, guys. We survived. We survived Mount Everest. We did it. I have my phone. I, oh, well, you have a phone too, I was going to say. I can help you out with my GPS if you need. Hello? Hey, I don't have a rap sheet with me. What is the address for 1156 on one? Yeah, that's the one that you Oh yeah, it's right. It's right by Carson. I uh, I just did the one on the 
You guys, Miles was saying it costs four grand a month just to rent this big piece of machinery. That's a lot of money. You could be driving a Rolls Royce for four grand a month. <laughs> but trust me, they make that money right back.
what's the sketchiest situation you've ever been in doing this? Um, I was on a driveway in Upper Moon Ridge, and um, and I was backing down the driveway, and the tractor started to slide. Uh, There's like an F-250 coming up the street, and I was sliding down the driveway, and I had to put the stabilizer down to stop me from oh, no. from tipping over. No way! The guy coming up the street, and the truck was just laughing at me. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Wow. You gotta be really quick on your hands and feet in this thing, yeah. yeah if I go to the sketchy driveway, I'll have the controls enabled in the rear so I can, so I can put the, the jacks down if I have to. This is not a job for the faint of heart, you guys. It's really not. the chains do chains break often uh, uh, I haven't had any break this year but wow uh, running them on the asphalt doesn't help yeah yeah sure sure I can out this window real quick. okay I cannot see look at this so we gotta do this driveway right now this is going to be awesome. He's checking the consistency of the snow. Oh no, he's cleaning his window. Hey, that's a smart idea. That's that's how I actually clean my rear view camera on my car. What a cool cat, you guys. Like, what a cool dude. He's putting up with me, asking him question after question, and just, this is awesome. Just so you know, dude, it's my birthday today, really? and this is like the best birthday present Happy ever, dude. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks, awesome. man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. All right, you guys, let's do this.
just dragged it back like that. So creative, this is awesome. things is epic you guys like it's just unbelievable You guys hear that? This thing's less than 100 horsepower, but it's got torque for days. because you have to be a little bit more meticulous inside the lines type of a thing more? Or? Yeah, and we can't, they don't really like it when we push the snow up against the garage. Oh, so, yeah. So it takes more time to drag it back. They probably don't like if you put the, the bucket in the garage either, huh? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You guys, he is, this, Miles is so, so precise, you guys. Like, he's, he knows this thing so well. It's really a privilege to ride along with this guy. He's, he's, he does a phenomenal job. As professional as it gets, I can tell you that. times already this year. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is an absolute privilege. Thanks again. Man. Oh, no problem. These, these are the last two houses on, uh, on the list. On the list. Wow. So we're, we're done now. Wow. So then, do you guys keep these for a, another couple weeks just for emergencies, or because it's four grand, do you guys just do you return them? Uh, no, I think they get returned uh, at the end of this month. Okay, okay. The, the company will probably come and get them around April 1st. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They, they'll they bring them to you and pick them up, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they, they deliver them on a semi from, from Colton. That is so cool, man. snow doesn't look fun to freaking shovel man it's it's already getting that thick yeah, it's, it's nasty it yeah bro heart attack central for for folks yeah we, we try to go out before it gets like this but sometimes we miss a few when it's nice and fluffy it's a lot easier to push around this snowstorm was, was super nice for you guys wasn't it because it, yeah. was, it was like a, a rocky mountain champagne powder it was really nice I haven't seen snow like that up here since I've lived here for the eight years. We're literally, when I was shoveling around my car, yeah. the first shovel scoop, I, I was anticipating it to be painful. Dude, it was like a feather. I, I was shocked. Yeah, if, if this stuff was like really heavy with the amount of snow that we got, a lot more houses would be damaged. No, for sure. For sure, roof collapses like crazy. We got lucky. We did get lucky. We got lucky. questions but what do you think a full scoop weighs with this consistency of snow? Um, I don't know probably 1200 pounds. Holy smokes okay. When it's all wet like this. Yeah that's crazy. You guys hear that? Probably a, a full scoop is uh, about just over a half a ton you guys. every penny I don't know if you're allowed to really talk about it but what would a driveway like this cost for the average person um, what would you charge for a seasonal rate it's probably like 700 bucks each time uh, uh, no that's for like the whole season if, oh. you, if you want to go under a contract um, if you're not under a contract uh, it's between 150 and 200 bucks okay okay Wow, okay. Uh, so so the company that we work for, all of these houses are under contract, so I, I don't know what they pay, but they pay a flat rate. Okay. I was thinking that my my driveway for that eight hundred and fifty was this, was that price every time it snows like that. Uh, I was I was it, thinking, holy smokes. Yeah, it it just kinda depends. I think they price it by the square foot, like the size of the a lot. Okay. Thanks for answering these questions for us. Oh no problem. Walkway they have here. Someone already got to their walkway. Oh, uh, yeah, the 
vacation company sends out shovelers to all the houses to shovel walkways. Oh, that's that's great, man. That's great. That's really great. So these are all rental properties, then? Yeah. Okay. I've never seen a town with so many rental properties. Yeah, there's, there's a lot up here. How do you feel about it? Um, I mean, it's good for the economy, but um, it's not good for the housing problem. I've had a lot of friends who have lived up here most of their lives, who in the past year and a half have been kicked out and had nowhere else to go. They had to move down the mountain. Yeah. And they've never lived down the mountain. It's, it's, it's been really hard seeing that, man. It's been really hard seeing that. Because of the, like, of course, I'm super stoked for these people who work their asses off to have investment properties to earn a little extra money, but there's got to be some sort of a, a, a medium. Yeah, a balance there. Because a, a, a lot of good people are getting totally screwed. Alright, that one, that one is done. We are done with that one, folks. Hopefully done for the season now. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we are doing the, literally their last properties for the whole season for the most part. Obviously, if we get another monster storm, we're probably gonna have to rent, rent something again, but this is probably gonna be it. And as you guys know, this time of year, because of the angle of, of the sun, it, it, it melts the snow very quickly. Every day that goes by, the faster the snow is gonna melt. Wow, that was cool. All right, cool. We did two, two, two and a half properties. We cleaned up one property a little bit, you guys, and then we did the one on the steep Mount Everest, and then this one. Guys, <laughs> straight ahead of us. What a privilege, you guys. What a privilege. What an absolute privilege. I don't know if you can see, but that's Walgreens right there. So we're on Moonridge Road. When we crossed the street right there, we were on Garston. 
So Moon Ridge on the other side of Big Bear Boulevard is called Garston. Wife was so excited for me to go do this today. <laughs> yeah, man, this is awesome. Oh yeah, there is a hole there. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, it's it's like two feet at at one point. I was I was really embarrassed. Oh, it's all good. Oh, I'm sure for you. Uh, You'll make room. <laughs> there's, there's never a problem for you to turn around here. Look at that, you guys. That is awesome. Spinning on the dime. Wow. Right. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that was fun. Miles, that was a lot of fun. I really appreciated that a lot. Oh, and, uh, no problem. Um, when, when you're done, um, I, I know you're super, super busy, but why don't you let me treat you wherever you want to eat? Okay. okay. I'll right. text you. I'll, I'll yeah. hit up Brian and we'll get a hold of you. Please do. Cool. Awesome. What a pleasure. Thank Give me you. a hug, bro. Give me All a hug, right. man. I'm a hugger, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome experience. You guys, oh my gosh. Say thanks, you guys. Say thank you. What a great birthday gift. Yeah, that, that's. I didn't know it was your birthday. That's cool. Dude, dude, I, I'm... Thank you. That was that was freaking awesome, and uh, no problem. All right, you guys. Once again, that is Miles. This is what Big Bear is all about, right here. People like that. So thank you again. Well, thank you. All right, Miles. Day. You have a great day too. I'll I'll hear from you soon. Okay. Okay. As soon as you hit me up, dude. As soon as you hit me up. All right, man. Take care. Look at this monster. Look at this monster. Wow, that was so cool. Now, what a cool guy. I mean, seriously, what a great dude. I miss you already. Go, go. Please don't go. Please don't go. All right, you guys, well, that is what we do up here. That was awesome. Got to do a couple properties in the snowplow. Show you guys what that experience is like. It was a real privilege to do that for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to keep on trying to do unique things like that for you guys. Also, don't forget to go sign up at Destination Big Bear for their free, free giveaways on this video. I'm going to post a link there. They're giving away free vacations. They're giving away free annual ski lift tickets or passes. So, uh, yeah, so privileged. This is awesome. This, that was such a privilege. So anyway, thanks again, guys. If you like what I do for you guys, please hit like and subscribe. Help me out. I would really appreciate it. And it's my birthday, so do it for my birthday at least, please. Um, yeah, thanks again. I love you guys to death. This is amazing. Wow. Take care, guys. March 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Pa-plow!